Good morning guys. So it is Thursday the 26th of September. This vlog is going to go on in a few days. Um, today I'm quite excited. Today I am going to go and visit the Kimpton Charlotte Square Hotel. Um, I got a contact through someone from work so I'll be running back and forwards. So today is the day. Um, hopefully I'm going to get to see some rooms. Reception I'll probably do on the way out depending on how busy it is. Yeah, and a good tour at hotel. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm on my own. It's Thursday, Ash is at work. So it's gonna be good. And the sun is shining, well, not shining, but it's not, not raining. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the hotel itself is located on the corner of George Street and Charlotte Square. It is a four star hotel. It used to be called another hotel, the Vox Bar. Um, we went in there to review for our wedding venue. Didn't get married there, so um, it was part of the other hotel on George, the George, on George Street, the George Hotel, but it's now split. Um, information about the Kimpton Group, it is American. So for all our American friends, hopefully you know what the Kimpton Group is. What I'll do, um, I'll actually to put a link in below in regards to the hotel itself. There will be a couple of vlogs about this, there'll be a room vlog. Hope I get to see a couple of rooms and then a hotel vlog itself. So yeah. I'm actually excited. So I've had a quick tour, um, what I'm going to show you. I've gone outside the front of the hotel, as you can see it's behind me. I didn't know this, it actually consists of seven townhouses. Um, it was owned by a family. Um, they went travelling um, and they came back and they renovated it into a hotel. So, awesome. So I've got some rooms to see. I have my keycard. And the rooms we're going to see is 110, 266 um, and 572. I've seen two of these um, to show me where they are. So yeah, so I'm going outside so I'm going to go into the reception. I want to do the reception area um, first and then I might take you around. I want to take you maybe to the rooms. It's going to be several blocks I think. So as you walk off, Charles Square died behind me. Someone, let's make it. There it is, that's Charles Square. As you walk in, is it what the party does? Very cool. And then you've got this area. It's very homely. Um, there is mottos that he told me. Unfortunately, I can't remember what they are, but I'll get Ashley to put a link in, as I said, for the hotel. A pair of boots. There's me. Hi, guys. Suitcases. Now, this is, I've just noticed this, right? So there's pipes here. So, Take me on yours. I'll run the bikes, give you a street level of our local flavours. That's awesome. Yeah. Seating area. I don't think whether they like this, I should have asked whether they like this or not. I don't know whether they do or not. So, as you come in, you've got reception here on the right. More areas here. This is to the restaurant of Baba, we'll go there later. Reception waiting area, seats, that kind of thing. And the reception on your right into the garden area. So this is where you have breakfast, um, light snacks, evening meal. Now, when this used to be the Voxbar Hotel, okay, before Tipton took over, behind me, this bit was all glass. It was a courtyard. What the have made it all open plan. And it is, um, honestly, it's, a bit, it's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Now, one thing um, I was told by Kieran is that it's, it's pet friendly. If your pet fits in the lift, it can stay at Kimto. So, as you walk around, you will see dog mats, um, food and water for dogs. It's very cool. There's also water facilities here and a lovely sofa area. People are still having breakfast, so I don't want to view too much. But here's the bar here. 
and then you've got cereals and pastries in the middle. So I'm gonna walk this way, okay? So this way takes you towards the Baba restaurant um, and there's a bar area here. This is a conference room, so through these doors, the gallery. Um, someone's in there at the minute, so if I go this way, I'll just give you a quick show. So this, you said this area is still being refilled, it's not been done yet. Um, luggage storage here, and then the conference room. This is where they do the wedding shows, that kind of thing, someone's in here. So I don't want to go any further. There's a bar at the back, and this door here takes you onto George Street. And then there's lifts just here. So this is the bar area, okay, one bar area I should say. What it said to me, he offered, they have a resident hour where they invite everyone to come down who's stopping at the hotel for a glass of wine or whatever they have. I've got a large selection of spirits, whiskies, wines on tap. Excuse me. Camden House Lager, Black Oil Blonde and Beaver Town Neck Oil. Very nice. Another door onto George Street. Five exit, but that is open. Behind us, this is George Street here. As we turn around, this takes you into the Baba restaurant. Kitchen area. There was breakfast in here, you just mop in the floor, so I want to walk on it for you guys. But there's juice glasses available. All the food was in here for this morning. And then, this is it. Now, there is a Christmas night out happening. Quite nice here, so. I think it will be in this section. You go through this door here, on the left. This is where you get back to reception. So you've got this, left, this staircase takes you to room 110. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to finish the hotel room first, but look at the staircase. Even the chandelier, you know, it's absolutely amazing. And I, love, and I love the prints on the walls as well as you go up. Another bar area. Two lounges. There's a on here, so it's a big gravel. And this is another lounge. This is the library. I'm not sure what these books are. I guess they are real. Look at it, guys. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Fireplace. Another meeting going on, so let's just skip. Meetings happen all the time in this hotel. It's beautiful. I'll just give you some idea of details. Look at the wall. Now that picture up there is a bit squint. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> but it is absolutely beautiful. Another dog bed next to the uh, fire. Okay, this door here, this door is to the townhouse. I can't get access to that today. Um, but so let me know. And this way takes you to the spa and gym. So let's go and have a look. There is, you can get um, external membership. This takes you to Rose Street. And down these stairs here is to the Spa area. This door, guys, takes you to the treatment rooms, as it says, just here. Through the glass door, as you can see, is the gym. And the changing rooms are down here, I believe, and the pool. But we'll go this way first. So it's actually a really big gym. So you've got rowing machines, bikes, bikes, a thingy, yeah, squatter for your arms. Weight machines for your legs. In here, it's a very big gym. There's me again, I need to come to the gym again. Get a bit chubby, even though that's the own world. Cross trainers, running machines, chest press. They do loose weights for the bar, and they've got the machine for the cables, and more loose weights over here. It's in the ground floor, um, but to be honest, you can't hear anything. There is music playing, it's just a beat, so that's all good. Um, they do ask you, once you do finish on a machine, to wipe it down, there is the blue roll. Um, for all machines, because obviously you'll get sweaty. Jason's Talk Challenge. One win, win a month of personal training. That's quite cool. Very cool. So Frank's winning, 435, 10 rounds. Kim's 521, 10 rounds. Very cool. I'm lost, this way. 
I got lost in the gym. Who knew? Water machine available. Actually, let me go grab a, a wee glass. This way takes the, the pool. There is a chair left. Behind me. For people who need it. So the pool, female changing rooms, male changing rooms, one going there. Studio. So there is spin classes. Didn't know there is spin classes here. That's quite cool. Yoga mats, all the what are called dumbbells things. That's quite cool. And then I don't think anyone's in here. No. There's a pool. It's very warm, so I think the camera went steam up like that. Sauna in the corner. Steam room here. Or steam room sauna, maybe all the way around. My glasses steam up so the camera's starting to steam up a little bit. There we go. Let's give it a wee little wipe. That's quite cool though guys, isn't it? Very cool. I think, I'll tell you the pool's about 15 metres, maybe. It's very warm though. Very, very good. And shut it up. All right guys, I have no words. That hotel is absolutely phenomenal. Amazing. Um, two separate vlogs. One of the hotel itself um, and what they offer from the garden room to the spa. Um, and then one of the three rooms that I saw. So that's me, that's my editing days. It's gonna be big, big, because like, I've gotta put it all together. But before it goes live, I've gotta send it to my contact at the hotel, Kieran. He's gonna send it to, he's gonna show it to the PR people. Hopefully they like it. I can't see why they wouldn't, because it is amazing. Um, yeah, so unsure what to do now. Um, yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Home time for me, I think. Um, five to eleven. Maybe get some food on the way. We'll see. But thank you for subscribing again. Much appreciated. Four hundred seventy-six subscribers we've hit. By the time we go to Florida in November, we won in five hundred, and I've got a feeling that's going to hit before the end of the month. Well, maybe not in the month because it's only four days. End of October. So all good. So thank you. Bye bye.